Good news for you students, and well, teachers too. There will be a pep assembly Friday, February 10th in the main gym from 1.45 until the end of the school day, 2.35. So yes, that means you'll be running on the assembly bell schedule. Throughout the week of February 6th through February 10th, it will be spirit week, so make sure to show your school spirit. In national news, two international companies, Samsung and LG, have been called out and punished for unfairly dumping products in the U.S. market, a practice that harmed Whirlpool and indirectly workers in Ohio and elsewhere. It was the second time in four years that the Whirlpool Corporation has been successful in such claims against the two companies. This upcoming Thursday, January 26th, Logan High School will be hosting a parent and student College Credit Plus CCP informational meeting. Set to start at 6 o'clock p.m., the meeting will feature representatives from Hawking College and Ohio University, while also providing attendance with the essential info about Ohio's CCP program. CCP letters of intent will also be made available at the meeting for all students interested in the program. In national news, two international companies, Samsung and LG, have been called out and punished for unfairly dumping products in the U.S. market, a practice that harmed Whirlpool and indirectly workers in Ohio and elsewhere. It was the second time in four years that the Whirlpool Corporation has been successful in such claims against the two companies. Nicholas Kudlpour, TV2. Logan High School is having a College Credit Plus meeting Thursday, January 26th at 6 p.m. This parent-student meeting is to give information and help students learn about Ohio's CCP program. The CCP letter of intent will also be available at this meeting. In national news, two international companies, Samsung and LG, have been called out and punished for unfairly dumping products in the U.S. market, a practice that has harmed Whirlpool and indirectly workers in Ohio and elsewhere. It was the second time in four years that the Whirlpool Corporation has been successful in such claims against the two companies. Lexis Fickle, TV2 News. The 2017 Mock Trial District Competition will be held this Friday, January 20th at the Athens County Courthouse. One of our own teachers, Mr. Ben Talby, will be taking a team from Logan down to compete in this mock trial. The cast and crew here at TV2 would like to wish them the best of luck, and remember to stay caught up with your work you will have from your absence. Now, in national news, two international companies, Samsung and LG, have been called out and punished for unfairly dumping products in the United States market. This is a practice that has harmed Whirlpool and indirectly workers in Ohio and elsewhere. This is not only the first, but the second time that just in four years, the, War the Whirlpool Corporation has been successful in such claims against the two companies. The 2017 Mock Trial District Competition shall take place on Friday, January 20th at the Athens County Courthouse. The Mock Trial team will be out of the building and Mr. Talby shall be attending the trials with the students. But that does not mean you have a free day. You will be fully responsible for doing your work and making sure that you do not get behind your classes. Do what you can. In national news, two international companies, Samsung and LG, have been called out and punished for unfairly dumping products in the U.S. market, a practice that harmed Whirlpool and indirectly workers in Ohio and elsewhere. This is the second time in four years that the Whirlpool company has been successful in such claims against the two companies. Jasper Jones, TV2. For those of you interested in the law field, listen up. The LHS Mock Trial Team will be competing in the Mock Trial District competition on Friday, January 20th. This day-long event will take place at the Athens County Courthouse. To the students on the team, remember to catch up on your schoolwork for the day. It is your responsibility. In national news, two international companies, Samsung and LG, have been called out and punished for unfairly dumping products in the U.S. market, a practice that harmed Whirlpool and indirectly workers in Ohio and elsewhere. It was the second time in four years that the Whirlpool Corporation has been successful in such claims against the two companies. 
Sydney Lingrak, TV2 News.